How is it being a head? Like, what is it a magnet? What is it? It's a suction cup. Is it recording? I think it is recording. Okay. Welcome back, guys. Workflow back again here. Got a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, not really game related, but it is still slightly technology related here. I'm going to help my cousin out with making an Ethernet. This video is going to be about making an Ethernet. Just like for your computer or anything like that, you got these little fat phone cables. This is what's in style now. So, definitely, guys, I'm sure you have had this happen to you where the little tab breaks off like that. Tab broke off. Okay, you put it in there. Now it won't, it won't stay in there now. So we have to fix this. We have to fix this. They make these little tabs here, these little replaceable tabs, and you can just, uh, well, we're going to show you how to actually switch this out and fix it there. Unfortunately, you're going to have to cut this whole thing off. Right? There, there, there is no saving this. So uh, these scissors, I mean, you can use these scissors. Any scissors will work, but these are snips. These are specially made for cutting wire and copper wire and cut it off like that. And then on the inside, I don't know if you can see that, you'll see, what, like six, how many cables? Six or eight cables? Eight. eight cables on the inside of there. They're all little tiny cables. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna score this. Score it just a little bit. You don't wanna cut the wires on the inside, you just wanna cut that outer sheath. So you're like barely biting it. You're like, you're like getting a little nibble. This is just a little nibble right here. You see that? You see how I'm doing that? Okay. Now you're going to take this and slide that up, exposing the cables on the inside. <gasps> Todd, these are different color cables. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Let, let, let's, show, let's show them the pinout that we got. Okay. This is the pinout that we got. Um, just like normal, you got the blue, uh, blue, white, and then on the outside, you got the green pair. Then on the right side, brown. On the, on the left side, orange. Then, then, then this, that ain't, that ain't this. Look at this color set, guys. The, that is way off from the norm. All right, like inside here, inside of the cable, these are all twisted around each other. So what you'll have to do is straighten these out so you can actually fit them inside of the piece. So you have to put them in order. Copying a little bit more, we got orange, which is sitting up there real nice and pretty. It looks like it might have a nick in it, but hopefully it'll be okay. That, that's what you get for not, not nibbling, not nibbling soft enough. You nibble too hard, cut your wires on the inside of there. See, and now we have a pair. This is the way that it is supposed to be now. Let's double check. Yeah, okay. See all these uneven ends? You can't get, these have to go in the same, in the same, you know, receptacle. So you're gonna have to actually snip these off evenly. Now they're all even. Now, take your little piece, your little replacement piece here that you got, probably a hundred of, because they don't sell these individually. Turn upside down, slide them on up in there. Slide them on up in there. See, now that's what you want. You want the actual, like the casing or the, the sheath around the, the, the pairs to actually go inside of the replacement head a little bit. Because that's what's actually protecting the pairs on the inside. So once you got them all up in there, you got to take this special tool. Okay. To clamp. All right. We're going to go ahead and stick it in there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now, just give it a squeeze. And you have to squeeze it all the way. If you squeeze it halfway, don't mess it up. Okay. All right, and it's in there. I'm pulling, it's not coming out. There is your replacement ethernet cable there. Now, my cousin Ty is gonna do the other side. Here we go. RJ11 is for a phone cable. That's what I was trying to find out. RJ11 and RJ45 are different. This is an RJ45. It's like a phone cable, but it's a little bit fatter. It's an Ethernet cable, basically. They're not always used for Ethernet, though. This is not actually called an Ethernet cable. All those cables are the exact same. The colors don't mean nothing except yeah, they have to be the existing. They're they helping you get one 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 signal to the same area. Yeah. That's it. 
in the same order. In the same order, that's it. They ca all the cables do the exact same thing. So you can really make up your own pinout, and if you plug it in perfectly on both ends, your Ethernet cable is going to work. Let, let me just go through it here. White, mm -hmm. orange, mm -hmm. light green, mm -hmm. dark blue, mm -hmm. light blue, mm -hmm. dark green, light brown, dookie brown. <laughs> you look like you don't even know that. <laughs> uh, which, which way? The, this down. So now put them to the top. Slide them in there. Trying to press it to the top now? I mean, no, bottom. Bottom now. Did you do it right, Todd? Who knows? Okay. Well, we don't know if it's going to work here. There you go. There you go. Yes. Is it going? Is it working? Eight. Boom! Guys, just like always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. If you got some type of comment regarding Ethernet cables, go ahead and throw them down below. Other than that, take care.